here today to talk to you about implement guidance and some of the different requirements for the two different types that John Deere has to offer. First being active implement guidance or AIG. This is where the implement is automatically steered to the guidance line. Um, that is steered by uh, some sort of steerable hitch, coulters, or axle. Um, all that motion is controlled by the John Deere application controller and with an active implement guidance activation installed on it. We have multiple display compatibility um, and as you can see in the picture there for both types actually we do need to have an implement receiver mast and whatever necessary harnessing no matter what in order to utilize implement guidance. Um, the other type is called auto track implement guidance formerly known as passive implement guidance. This is where the implement is driven to the guidance line. So that means that the tractor pulling the implement can drive off the line if it needs to in order to keep that implement right where it needs to be centered on the line. Um, this form of implement guidance is uh, only compatible with the, the Gen 4 displays. Um, and again, just like active implement guidance, we do require a implement receiver, mast, and any necessary harnessing. Um, just a few more little uh, bits here on active implement guidance. So again, that is where the implement is steered to the, to the guidance line or between the rows. Uh, most commonly, um, this form of implement guidance is used when you are trying to maintain highest crop quality. So if you're going to have to make multiple passes throughout the growing season through um, the field, this is usually the answer there because this will keep um, both the machine and the implement on the line and off of the rows or off the crops. Um, we got pictured here some steerable coulters um, on a planter. Um, we can also have say a steerable hitch like in the picture there in the bottom left with um, a strip tiller. So there's many different applications there. Um, Compatibility wise with receivers, we can use either a SF3000 or 6000, um, and they have to be at least SF2 or 3 on a 6000. Um, display compatibility, again, we've got multiple display compatibility, um, GS3, GS2, along with Gen 4. Um, as far as the GS3 and 2600s or GS2s, uh, we just need an auto track activation on that display. Um, we do need to have some sort of auto steer installed on the machine. Um, also, we will need the application controller with the active implement guidance activation installed. Um, some different setups may need a counterbalance valve to help smooth out the operation of that controllable, uh, say, hitch or coulters or steerable axle. Um, and if we're using a tractor that is either non John Deere or an older Deere, um, we'll also more than likely need an external control valve. To control that steerable component. And lastly here again uh, auto track implement guidance. So uh, this is where if you look at the picture there center of the screen the machine is actually able to drive off the line if necessary um, so that it can keep that implement centered right where it needs to be on the line. Um, most applications for this would be you know planting where it's not as important for your first pass if you go off the guidance line because there's nothing there yet. So if you don't need to plant up on ridges or not uh, worried about running anything over, then this is uh, definitely the option for you. Um, we do again have the same compatibility receiver wise, both uh, Starfire 3000 or 6000. Um, again though, Gen 4 display compatibility only. And uh, we would at least need 19-2 software on that display in order to run auto track implement guidance. Um, so we do not need the app controller here. We basically just need the Starfire receiver and any harnessing get us up to the tractor. Um, and then inside our display there, as you can see, if Gen 4 is either gonna have a command center automation activation or if we're using our universal 4640, we will need the automation subscription. Thank you for watching. Connect with us by subscribing to Precision Ag Answers on YouTube and following RDO Equipment Company on social media. Visit rdoequipment.com for more Precision Ag resources and solutions.